boxes are actually starting to get replaced with mailboxes that are a lot harder to fish. Um, but even so, I'll just go right into the post office. Don't use the mailboxes just outside the post office. Go into them and just drop off your mail inside. Um, another thing you could do is that uh, I've also been telling people is to start writing your checks with specialized pens. Uh, specifically, I actually have one. Um, this one here. It's a black. Yeah. It, it's actually a specific gel pen. I'll say it now. Uh, it's made by Uniball. Uh, the number of the pen is actually 207. Um, this particular gel pen is made specifically uh, for check writing uh, for in, in important documents. What it does is that the ink actually bonds to the paper of whatever it's written on. Um, and it, they can't be wa yes, it can't be washed off. Uh, so once again, it's Uniball, um, number two zero seven. You can get them at. Uh, uh, you said it on me. Um, you can get them online. No, it's a it's a gel pen, but it's one specifically designed for documents. And uh, yeah, that's basically. When it comes to that, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain. Yeah, I'll explain to you that. The, um, this particular type of investigation is very much multifaceted. It's not just the police department involved. Um, it is the DA's office, it is the police department. It is the United States Postal Inspector Service. Um, it's because of that. It is different investigations, and it could be that that particular person is tied to a federal investigation. So that's why it has to go directly to the DA. The, um, it's true, but. If it really went to the DA and bypassed us, it's because they probably know who the person is. They probably know who it is. Okay. And what they do is they build they build cases and they wait till they have lots of evidence, lots of victims, lots of them. and then they swoop down, they take them and they just poof disappear. So um, that's basically what that is. Okay. And please, if you live on a corner property or if you have a mailbox near a window and it's 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, maybe you're out watching TV and you hear something, go to your window. And if you see someone near a mailbox for more than 10 seconds, call 911 and then you can text me, whatever. Um, please, I mean, you got to look out for these small types of crimes. You may think, oh, he, he, but he may not be doing so, but he may be doing something. So please call 911. Um, I want to thank Captain uh, Officer Madero and Officer Marte for coming. I don't know how long they're going to be here, but if you have any very sensitive information, um, you just come directly to them uh, in the kitchen or somewhere back there. Um, but we're going to move on. Again, thank you for coming. Um, Manny, Allison Lavery, um, please, we have another 20 minutes to go, so uh, please do stay. Manny? I'll make it brief. Good evening, everyone. I'll make it quick, I'll make it quick. Uh, it's a pleasure to be back. It's been a while since I attended this meeting. I've been back in school, so the days that these meetings occur, I'm not able to make it. Um, but it does feel good to be back. Um, one of the things we just recently worked on, and we recently got accomplished, and I've been working on this for about two years now, is um, the front doors to the library. So for those of you that don't know, I'm the branch manager of the Allison Library, located on 2740 Barnes Avenue between Arnau and Allerton. So we just got, we're supposed to be, the building was built in 1959. Uh, we're supposed to be a handicap accessible building. Now those standards have changed. Uh, the doors we had were extremely heavy. Elderly people, handicapped people, young children could not enter the building. They were having difficulty um, opening those doors. Uh, so what I've worked with uh, Capital Planning, I've worked with um, Pyra, and we actually just completed the job. 
Yesterday, actually, they came in and finished the minor repairs that needed to be done. So we officially, I've been having very positive feedback on the doors. The next thing I'm working on is a, a brand new elevator, because uh, our elevator, fortunately, is down right now. Um, one of the new initiatives for the library now is working towards early literacy. So it's uh, catering towards parents and children from birth to the ages of three years old. So we've been directing a lot of our children's programs more towards uh, more towards these toddlers and actually getting the parents involved uh, and teaching them you know, how to engage, how to read to their children, uh, the five senses, because believe it or not, something I learned uh, being there and taking actually these trainings is children absorb the most the most knowledge, the most, uh, they learn the most between the ages of zero and three years old. Uh, so that's primary our focus now, but we do have um, ongoing computer classes for adults. I left a couple of flyers there. Um, we have programs for the, school, for the school age kids every single day of the week, Monday through Saturday. We're closed Sunday. If not, we would definitely have something. We do have uh, ESOL classes on Tuesday nights and Thursday nights. Uh, I am looking to increase and actually get a Monday, Wednesday class uh, in the library because um, we quickly fill up these classes. And um, we're looking to uh, implement, um, implement more classes. Uh, aside from that, like I said, we have tons of programs going on. We, we've done uh, movies for Black History Month. Uh, we actually sold old films on a reel. So we're one of the only branches to actually have still one of those real, uh, those real film players that actually, I don't know exactly the name of it, but we're one of the only ones that have trouble getting city funding, huh? Trouble with funding? That was good. <laughs> we got a DVD player too. We don't got Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, we've been showing those. We're looking to do them for uh, Women's History Month. Uh, I'm gonna actually this week. I'm gonna finalize the calendar. The calendar for March. It hasn't been released yet, but um, I just wanted to make it brief, short, uh, and sweet. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, if anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, I'm always looking for ways to improve uh, and make the library uh, better for the community. Is there any questions, any concerns, any comments? Uh, I just want to say um, thank you for all my life as a young child going to library. I've never seen anything so involved with the community. I appreciate it. It feels good to be back here. I appreciate that, because I do, so believe it or not, I do not, I still, so I don't live in this area, I still live in 10467, so I'm from Gun Hill and Decatur, on the other side, I grew up on Mashulu Parkway, so as a child, my first movie theater coming to was the one on Allerton mm -hmm. Avenue, watching the Ninja Turtles, getting scared, my father had to take me out midway through, so believe it or not, this is my community too, and um, it's like it's good to see everyone as active, just like the captain said. Every this is an active community, and I'm by the five two precinct. It's like what's going on? <laughs> They're not doing anything for the community, so it's good to see you know everyone here participating. And then I give away all this information. I see people actually coming, so that's why I said it feels good to be back, particularly to this meeting. So thank you for having me. Appreciate that. It's on Bars at Barnes Avenue between Allerton and Arnau. I used to work there before I stepped into the role of manager. Yes, I did. So we're our hours are from ten to seven p.m. Monday through Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday we're ten to five p.m. Yes. I got a question. There was there was a. A kid driving a bicycle right right by your library. He got killed by a car over there. Why did they put the, the speed bump a court down the block? So that was before that was I stepped in as branch manager. Um, I am aware of that. What I actually so I, I can't speak. That's probably something on behalf of the Department of Transportation. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but I can tell you this. I am aware of that situation. Although my primary concern is the safety of the people inside the building, I do monitor the front of that building. So I have my security guard periodically checking to make sure the ramp is not being utilized by these kids running up and down, driving a bike up a scooter. So I make sure that's not happening. If the kids are playing in front and they're running around, I do address these kids and try to get them to come inside and participate. Any other questions, concerns, comments? DJ Manny Fresh. <laughs> uh, we have a new representative from Senator Jamal Bailey's office. Um, come up, introduce yourself. And he is not Kenny Agosto. Not Kenny Agosto. Who is Kenny? Hi, my name is Renell. I'm filling in for Kenny Agosto. Um, I'm a community liaison for Senator Jamal Bailey on. 959 East 233rd Street. We have several events going on. We have an event in Mount Vernon for Women's History Month in March. It's at the Dole Center. Um, at this event, you will have health screenings, Zumba classes, and beauty care. So if any women are interested, they can... They can um, take a flyer. Also, we have a suit drive for um, men who have been previously incarcerated, and we help. We like to help them get a second chance to when they um, to when they attend job interviews. So, if you can help them get a second chance, that'd be very helpful. Okay. And also the. We'll put the flyers right here on the table. All right, thank you. Um, but all the elected officials for our area, their phone numbers are on our meeting agenda, which has a picture of Marcy and Kenny dancing. <laughs> it's a good, come on, it's a good picture. I think it's a good picture. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Um, outreach, um, anything your office is um, working on particularly, in terms of constituent services? Um, we're also doing a clothing drive, um, a coat drive also. So if you have any clothes, whether it's men, women, children, you can bring them in at 959 East 233rd Street. If you have any clothing, coats, anything available, please bring them in. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Councilman Richie Torres' office, uh, Josalie. Did I get it right? Yes. Rosalie. All right, come on here. Rosa La. Hello, how are you, everyone? Um, I will make my uh, announcements brief. Brief. Um, so tax season is upon us, and uh, the wonderful folks at Urban Upbound have have. <laughs> that's an awkward position. Um, wonderful folks at Urban Upbound have offered to team with our office to provide not only our constituents, but the entire borough uh, free tax prep services. So if you don't want to shell out the bucks for H&R Block, come see us. Uh, we're on the corner of Hoffman and Fordham Road, accessible by the 12 bus. Uh, also, um, aside from tax season, uh, PB season is going to be among us soon. Um, and we know that some of the most suburban and dedicated uh, constituents come from the East Bronx. So just trying to keep that in mind. Send your proposals. Northeast. <laughs> PV season, I believe it's late March. I don't have the exact date. Uh, what is it? PV is participatory budgeting, if you don't know. It is money that is allotted uh, to us after the budget year. And we can use that money to do whatever we'd like with. Um, usually brick and mortar projects, which mean things that can be built. Um, one of the projects that was proposed and got passed on the ballot was uh, NYPD corridor cameras. Um, more policing on the streets for dark alleys and whatnot. Uh, areas ridden with crime. Things like that. So get those ideas going. Um, we'd love to welcome you to one of our PD meetings to be a delegate and advocate for your community. Okay. Question, how much money we still have to advocate? 
Uh, last season's over, it was a million dollars that they okay. gave us, um, and they were already get the ideas finalized. Mm-hmm. Uh, now they're going to vote on it. Okay. You mean, you mean for Broad Park East? Yeah, we got we got more money to go. We we, 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 we still got to beg a little more. Exactly. It's not their fault. It's the Parks Department's fault. Um, thank you, Rosalie. Romina will be back here next month. Um, just wanted to shout out a couple of um, people. Um, welcome back, Eloise. She hasn't been here for a few months. Eloise, point for Boy Boss Road. For shout out. We also have Roseanne. Roseanne, you haven't been here since the summer. Oh, you only pop up in the spring. <laughs> it's uh, Natalie, thank you for coming. Um, we also have, um, for the first time, he's a clergy member in our community. If you'd like to say a few words, um, hold on. Let me let me see if I can get it right. Rabbi, Rabbi what's, what's the next one? Reverend. No, no, no. There's something else. Rabbi. Reverend. Rabbi Reverend Keith Elijah Thompson. There we are. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure for me to be here. Um, our place of worship is. 2910 Bonds Avenue, right between Williams Bridge and Arnold Avenue. And, you know, I, I know that on Sundays and sometime during the week we double park, but we have someone, in case they want to move, they just come and tell us and we move the car and they, they will, you know. So we're here to serve the community. I live in this community for 36 years. Uh, the church is there for 36. I was in. Um, Burke Avenue and I move right here to um, Barnes Avenue, you know, that's the library where that young man just speak a while ago, that's where most of my children they go to so, you know, it's a pleasure to be here I am here to serve the community, so you can anyone need to get in touch with me for any situation you can just call me at 718-515-4880 that's where the Jewish synagogue was, you know, William the Jewish synagogue. That's where I am. So I'm the rabbi there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're going to close out soon. If anyone has any topics to bring up, I just want to bring up a few short things. As you see on the flyer, uh, the meeting agenda, wait, the Waste Place Block Party is going to be Saturday, July 15th. I set up a GoFundMe page. If you or any businesses you know would like to help sponsor it, please, by all means. Um, I'm going to be giving out double, um, two-sided proposals, I say, um, for businesses to sponsor the block party. We're going to have a 10-foot by 5-foot banner, sponsorship banner, which the businesses can participate in. Um, yes, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Um, a, you know, a certain price per box. Um, they could also choose to fund certain items. Um, we're going to have a live salsa band for two hours. Algo Nuevo, they were in there last year. Yes. Um, my brother's um, swing band, Double Down, is going to be there. They, they performed in October of 2014. They're going to be back. Um, I'm just trying to go all out. Every, it's, you know, it's, it's WrestleMania season. Every, every, every time you do an event, you got to do it bigger. And better. So, you know, anyone wants to help out? By all means, Grace. Right. Grace, when's your, when's your block party? June. Can you? Well, June seventeenth. June Saturday, June seventeenth. Alton and Barnes. We're normal. Looking, looking normal. for what? Looking for donations uh, as well. I have a fun GoFundMe page going to be put up, and uh, I need I need we need volunteers uh, bodies to to work it. Okay, so. That's it. Um, Norma's is going to be August 26th, Saturday, Saturday August 26th. Where is that going to be? I um, just want to bring up a couple of things. I spoke to um, Navarro Navar- Navar- Lopez, is the new is that going to be um, borough commissioner of... Hello. Hi. Bar- Navarro Lopez is the new borough commissioner of Bronx DOT, Department of Transportation. Connie Moran, um, she retired, so she's no longer there. Navarro's great, though. I spoke to him on the phone about 2440 Boston Road because a lot of seniors... Um, they don't want to walk to Waring. They don't want to walk to Mace, which you have to wait two minutes to cross the street at Boston Road. So a lot of people crossed there. Last meeting, Norma and her husband had an incident where a car just wouldn't slow down. A lot of people crossed there. It's undeniable. Um, so the DOT is doing a study for the traffic light, but they're also working on a um, overall traffic calming plan for Boston Road from Pelham Parkway up through Allerton, up until Allerton, or I'm not sure if it's past Allerton, for other... Um, um, other ways to slow down the road. Now, I'm not sure when the um, traffic study will be done for the traffic light. It was denied um, a year and a half ago. Um, 
But it's some it's one of those intersections similar to Williams Bridge between Mason and Waring. They put which, a traffic light there. Which um, you're a resident of Paul Park Houses. Yeah, they put I don't know what you think. But what do you think of that traffic light? No, they put it right in the middle. Why do you? What do you think? I think it's a good oh. thing. Okay. Um, you know, I don't like those oh. new street lights they're putting up. The new street How lights are dark. Hey, Raphael. Uh, I, I'm, I, I didn't know anything. John, you're in Paul Park Houses, right? What do you think of the traffic light on Williams Bridge? It's a good. Okay. Do we have anyone else from Paul Park Houses? Sure. You? They never cross the room. They never cross the room at once. Exactly. All right, well, two out of three, whatever. I didn't think them. I didn't know what they think. So I'm just. It's, hey, yeah. hey, guy at the bar. Hey, hey, hey. Why? Hey. So. This is something DOT is working on. Navarro is very approachable. Um, I also told him about the need for more um, school signage there. Uh, what are the other things? Does anyone have any issues that... Yo, hello, George, can you... Jesus. Does anyone have any issues they'd like to bring up? Open forum. Besides, we'll get to you. Oh, Marcy. Anyone? Okay, Marcy. Marcy. So far. <laughs> no, now that we've been meeting in Gasolina, I hope everyone says thank you to the owners of this establishment and buy a beer or a soda. At least spend a little money. Don't just use their space. And just so you know, they do retirement parties, they do baby showers, birthday events, any type of event they do. You see, it's a pretty big place. Uh -oh. All right, Diana, do you have here, by the way? No, not yet. Thank you. And we have beer. <laughs> Who knew that a uh, packet meeting would be most peaceful in a bar? Yeah. Anyway. Bar fight. Diana, you have anything you'd like to talk about? Nothing? All right. Um, Jean, you want to say anything? Uh, Jean's head of Allerton Merchants Association. Thank you, Ralph. Um, a couple of things. One, on, on the, uh, the safe havens, um, we actually last year tripled the number of the stores on Allerton that are safe havens. So you'll see their signs. It's a little orange shield in the window. Uh, we have some new stores. We're going to approach them as well and uh, get some more. You cannot serve alcohol. So establishments, delis, things like that, they, they do not qualify for the safe haven program. But uh, if you if you know a child, they go to school, let them know that if they um, feel like a van is following them, kids are bullying them, they can just dip into one of these stores and the store owner will call the police and call the parents and make sure that they're safe. The, um, the speed bump on Wallace Avenue, the speed bumps can't, oh right, in front of the line, anywhere you put a speed bump, you can't have a driveway. So on both sides, there has to be no driveway. So I'm going to assume off the top of my head that there were driveways because it is mostly residential. Yeah. And and no. so they couldn't, they had to find the first place where there were no driveways um, attached. Um, Piggy, I wasn't going to say anything, but since you were talking about Boston Road, um, we spoke with Nervardo. Last month I came, we were talking about the uh, Boston Road and Allerton problems. Nervardo spoke to me and said that we will have uh, a design that's in a, that's being designed right now. It's in the budget, and 2018 there will be a dramatic difference on Boston Road and Allerton Avenue. And we'll keep everybody in, uh, included. He mentioned the left turn only, um, and I don't know what other design that they have, but we're going to stay on top of it and watch, and we'll all work together uh, to keep that. He also mentioned uh, Waring Avenue. And on Boston Road, there was going to be a design. So what he was oh, able to do God. was lump them all together uh, in one big package, and uh, and it got approved, is what I'm told. So, but that doesn't mean we're going to like it. So we still have to sit down and talk and see what's what. Here, uh, WrestleMania is April second. Uh, we're going to have a big event with uh, with George and Miguel. So come on out if you uh, if you want a good time. But yeah, we're going to have a big wrestling. We'll put them on all the TVs. And um, check out our Facebook page, Allerton, uh, Allerton International Merchants, or just email us, allertonmerchants at gmail.com. Thank you. All right, please tell me there's someone that gets this joke. It's going to be the gift of gasolina. Drink it in, man. No one gets that. This is, you see, this is how unpopular wrestling has become. I'm a big wrestling fan. Jeez, that's one of the things we have in common. One of the very few things. I'm Thank God. <laughs> um, 
All right, I think we're good. Miguel, you want to say anything? Oh, we have one more. Antoinette, Antoinette. Okay. I want to mention about um, more clean up in the area. More clean up in the area and more trash cans, the square ones, not the round ones, that cannot accommodate, let's say, a day's uh, uh, activity. They're too small. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, that's... Uh, What's that one? Under the L? Uh, right. 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 Yeah. 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 Being a Bronx site, the, 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 the area here to be so condensed with pedestrians, it's not as clean as it should be. I think we need more cleanup. And the fact that we had the merchants as well as the residents need more trash can and more cleanup. Yeah, I almost forgot to ask the question. Um, what Has anyone seen... Um, Progress on the Palm Parkway construction. What's going on? No. 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 Okay. No. Let me ask the easier question. Has anyone, uh, if you've seen progress and you're satisfied, can you raise your hand? All right. All right. So, because um, that's that's one of the things that's contributing to the trash. The uh, diet of the trash can of Dunkin' Donuts is really hit or miss. You go by there sometimes. It's changed. It's all right. Other times, it's a catastrophe. Um, the, the White Plains Road bid only goes up to Palm Parkway South, so they don't have the cleanup workers going up and down, and the um, cleanup fund, the dough fund or whatever it's called right now, they're only seasonal, like from maybe like April through September or something like that. So, I, I, I know. Um, and my friend so Okay, so is it something that's got is it something that has gotten worse because of the construction, or not, has nothing to do with it before? The the oh, sorry the roadway. Being a senior, the roads are, are very uneven and bumpy and holy. If you're uh -huh. a senior, someone has a disability, you're going to be tall. Yeah. One of the things they've done the local street, mm -hmm. which was in basic repair, but the main street. Boston Road. No, under the, under the train station. Yeah. The, Raphael, the potholes are so bad there. Yeah, that's part of the. Um, I have a, I have a problem walking. You know, have that's part of the. Very bad. Other Palm Park reconstruction projects Very bad. probably never get started. No, it'll probably start in 2018, maybe 2019. Um, and that's a reconstruction project for the roads, the underground pipes, um, the the service road. So that's not until 2018, 2019. Um, now we did we did get our yes they, they may be local roads but we did get Waring Avenue Mesa Avenue Jean got Allison Avenue Britain Street um, and many other yeah so, I know I know well we got some done we we didn't get others done so I mean White Plains Road it's not something that we can request and say hey can you pay White Plains Road because they're going to do it already it's just they're not doing it yet because it's such a big project you remember the issue with the Palm Park reconstruction project three years ago when they were we just moved it three years ago. There were big issues, um, and the community board had the, the city really screwed this neighborhood um, with the, um, the sidewalks that they put up, and they were going to take down 270 trees. So the community board wants to avoid those issues this time. So, to my knowledge, that's why it's taken so long with the plans, um, with the comment, with, with the start of construction. So that I mean, you, if you can, um, I hate saying it. Call three one one. It's like a curse word. It makes me cringe. Um, but no, get get a couple confirmation. Get at least one confirmation number for the potholes at White Plains Road, Pelham Parkway, and send them to me, and I'll send them to Navarro Lopez to make sure that they're they're done. Because they are potholes. Because I know. So, but maybe everyone complains about it here, but they haven't called three one one. So, can you do that after the meeting? Do you have my number. It's on the agenda. All right. So just do that for the after meeting. All right. Everyone good? Yeah. You good? Cool. All right. No, no, oh, Don, Donald, sorry. Yes, last thing. He always forgets the detail, but I have a little bit of carrot and a little bit of stick for each of you. We need dough, so we need membership dues. But we are working on the design for a 2017 t-shirt, which you will get as part of your dues. Okay, all right, yes, pay your dues. Okay, uh, dues are $20 a year, you know, it, it goes very quickly. Anyway, thank you all for coming. Next meeting is Wednesday, March 29th. Please sign in if you haven't already. We appreciate every one of you for coming. Thank you. Are we from...